I think there's a great difference between standing on this edge of something new, something that's as yet unknown by oneself, and standing on that edge with others who are standing on that edge with you, very consciously, very aware, supportively. It's a bit like that roof. It's supporting each other, mutually supportive. Because whether we are aware of it or not, uh, whether we chose it consciously or not, we have a connection right now in this dome. So we already share something that's really substantial in common. If you look up to this beautiful ceiling of this dome, you'll see a wonderful design there. That design is very specific. It's like we can be very thankful for that design because it's holding that roof up. And it's holding that roof up impeccably because it was designed to do that, very specifically, using some pretty scientific principles. But to me, that's a symbol of what's already present and, if you like, was just given form in that particular way to represent and acknowledge uh, a design that was already present because things work in a very specific way. There's something that's been represented or symbolized by those practical things, but there's something much bigger in the picture. And I know that, I can feel it, but I can't see it. I feel it. And often that's where the, the anxiety comes from, is feeling something, but not being able to see it, not being able to touch it, not being able to do something about it. There's a patience that's needed and a, and a certain strength that doesn't have one running away or hiding. And you've got to find a way. I mean, you could retreat from it. I don't know about you, but I don't want to do that because at some point, there's going to be the pressure from behind that brings me back to that same precipice again. And if I don't take the opportunities and just trust and move as I'm needed to move now to deal with that, if I don't do it now, I'll have to repeat that process sometime in the future and it'll be even more threatening maybe or feeling that way. Can we stand in heaven at the, on that precipice together? Can we stand in heaven as the buffeting happens, as that, yes, there's darkness and there's imponderables in front of us. We don't know what's in that darkness. There's storms, all kinds of energies moving in our experience, internally and externally. There's no lack of that externally, and I can tell you from my own experience, there's no lack of it internally either. Plenty of energy going on there. But to stand in that place of heaven. What is that place of heaven? It's the place of love. Beyond the feeling of love into the actual experience of and the, the understanding of the fact that love is everything. Heaven is present in, in this valley, in this very place. It just needs recognition. It just needs engaging with, it needs expression. So the precipice may be scary, but the edge of it is solid ground, and it is the perfect place from which we can push off from into the new and into the unknown together. <laughs>